Here's our next book, first graders. It's called King of the Playground. And if you remember, our last book was about Molly Lou Mellon, who stood up to the bully, Ronald Durkham, um, and was happy at the end. And Ronald Durkham, the bully, ended up changing and being nice to her. Well, this book, The King of the Playground, is similar in that, um, as the title says, there's one boy here who feels like he is the king of the playground. He's kind of the bully. He's the one that wants everything to go his way. And the other boy is trying to play as well, but is a little bit afraid of the king. I think you can tell by his face that he looks a little bit afraid of this king of the playground. Let's find out how he handles it. This book is by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor and illustrated by Nola Langer Malone. King of the Playground. Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt, his Batman underpants, and his jeans with the horseshoe on each pocket. But he didn't feel brave and he didn't feel lucky. It sounds like he's worried already. He walked up the street to, pl to the playground. He wanted to go down the slide head first. But if Sammy was there, he wouldn't go down at all. Too late. Sammy was there. Here's the picture from the front cover. We're pretty close to it anyway. So Sammy must be the king of the playground, or the one who thinks the bully guy. Let's find out. You can't come in, Sammy said. I'm the king of the playground. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the slide. Kevin went back home. Why, Kevin, go back home? I think that's why right there. He's afraid. His father was making soup. I thought you went to the playground, said father. Sammy says if I go on the slide, he'll get a rope and tie me up. Kevin told him. He says he'll tie my hands and feet so tight I'll never get loose. So I think this is what he's imagining in his head. The pictures are just a little bit lighter, so maybe that's like dreamlike, and it's what he's talking about. Good way for the illustrator to show what's happening in um, Kevin's head. Wow, said Father, really? And what would you be doing while Sammy was tying you up? Just sitting there? Kevin remembered when he tried to put a sweater on their cat. Oh, I can't imagine the cat being still when he tried to put a sweater on him. Oh, I'd be kicking my feet, he said. Right, said his dad. That's one thing you could do. And it'd be hard for him to put the rope around him. The next day, Kevin went to the playground and got as far as the swings. You can't play here, yelled Sammy, running over. I'm king of the swings. And he told Kevin what he would do if he saw him on the swings. Kevin went home and sat on the porch. Father was washing his car. I thought you were going to the playground, father called. Kevin shook his head. Sammy says, if I go on the swings, he'll dig a hole and put me in it. He says he'll dig a hole so deep, I'll never get out. Father smiled just a bit. How long do you think it would take Sammy to dig that hole? Kevin remembered when he had helped his father dig holes for fence posts in the backyard. A long time, he said. And what would you be doing while Sammy was digging? <laughs> I'd be kicking the dirt back in, said Kevin, and smiled a little too. Right, said his dad. That's one thing you could do. The next day, Kevin went to the playground and tried to climb the monkey bars. You can't play here. I'm king of the monkey bars, Sammy shouted and told Kevin what he would do if he saw him there again. Kevin went home and climbed up the maple tree. 
His father was working in the garden. I thought you were going to the playground, said father. Sammy says if I climb the monkey bars, he'll come over to our house and nail all the doors and windows shut and we'd be trapped there forever. Kevin looked at his father and they both started to laugh. And while Sammy was nailing one door shut, we could walk out the other, Kevin said. Right, said his dad. So this time Kevin came up with the answer. He's starting to think like his dad, and his dad was coming up with all these answers. The next morning, Kevin put on his Spider-Man t-shirt, his Batman underpants, and his jeans with the horseshoe on each pocket. He felt only a little bit braver and a little bit lucky. He walked up the street to the playground, thump, 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 went his heart. Sammy was sitting by himself in the sandbox. It was a big sandbox, but when Sammy was in it, nobody else wanted to play. Kevin slowly walked over. You can't play here, Sammy yelled when he saw him. I'm king of the sandbox. Kevin put one foot in the box. Go home, Sammy yelled even louder. If you try to play here, I'll put you in a cage with bears in it. Kevin put his other foot in the sandbox. Then I'll ride on their backs and teach them tricks, he said. Sammy stared. You can't, he yelled. They're wild bears. Then I'll squeeze through the cage and escape. You can't, Sammy shouted. You're, you're too big. Then I'll take magic pills to make me little said Kevin, beginning to smile. I'll get through the cage and hide. They're using their imaginations. You can't, Sammy hollered. I'll run after you and pick you up and throw you in a trash can. Well, then I'll take magic pills to make me big again and I'll drive away in a truck. You can't, bellowed Sammy. I'll go to the army and get a tank and chase the truck and push it off into the ocean. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's a big imagination. Try it, said Kevin. Sammy stopped hollering. What? he asked. Try it, said Kevin, and sat down. He began digging a tunnel at one end of the sandbox. For a moment, Sammy didn't say anything at all. Then he began digging a tunnel at his end of the sandbox. Faster and faster and farther and farther they dug until suddenly... Thump! They bumped heads right in the middle. This time Kevin laughed out loud. He wasn't sure, but he thought maybe Sammy was smiling too. I'm going to build the biggest fort in all the world, Kevin said and began digging. Ha! Huh, said Sammy. It's got to have towers. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a drawbridge, said Sammy. It will, Kevin said. It's got to have a ditch all around, said Sammy. It will, Kevin said. Help me build it? No, Sammy told him. But he did. Look at what they created together. Did you notice how during the war, the book, these two characters changed? This is how they start out with Kevin being really afraid and Sammy being bossy and being a bully and yelling and screaming. And then as Kevin's dad helped him think about all of these pictures and things that would happen and work through them so that he knew that those things were not going to happen. At the end, Kevin stands up for himself, even though his heart is beating really fast. He takes his foot and steps inside the sandbox and then the other foot and he's in there and Sammy, he doesn't know what to do. Wait a minute, you're supposed to be afraid of me. But Kevin is not, he's starting to play with the sand. And Kevin comes up with an imagination story 
that is just as big and as bad as Sammy's story. And they keep comparing stories until they end. They realize that they can work together. And I bet they end up being good friends. Look what they created together. Have you been in an, in, an instance like this where maybe you have come into a bully or someone who has said no? You can't play or you can't use their things or use something? Maybe you need to think that through and use your imagination to come up with some solutions. And one of them might just be, hey, why don't we be friends? Why don't we do this together instead of being upset with each other? I bet you can because being friends is what a bully needs. Someone to just be his friend. And you probably need friends too. Always a good idea to make friends and not be bullies.